This Java code defines a class called task, which represents a task or to-do item with a title, description, due date, and completion status. The first line of code imports the local date class from the java.time package, which is used to represent dates in Java. The next four lines define instance variables of the class, title, description, due date, and completed. These variables are all marked as private, which means that they can only be accessed within the task class itself. The constructor method is defined next, which is used to create new instances of the task class. It takes three arguments, title, description, and due date, and initializes the instance variables of the class with these values. By default, the completed variable is set to false, indicating that the task has not been completed yet. After the constructor, the class defines getter and setter methods for each of the instance variables. These methods allow other classes to get and set the values of the task object's variables. The method is completed is a getter method that returns the value of the completed field, which is a Boolean that represents whether or not the task has been completed. This method returns true if the task has been completed and false otherwise. The method set completed, boolean completed, is a setter method that sets the value of the completed field. The parameter completed is a boolean value that represents whether or not the task has been completed. Finally, the class defines a toString method, which is used to return a string representation of the task object. It concatenates the title, completion status, description, and due date of the task into a single string, which can be printed or displayed in some other way. The completion status is determined using a ternary operator, which checks whether the completed variable is true or false and returns either completed or not completed accordingly. The Task Manager class is a Java class that manages a list of tasks. Tasks, a private list object that stores task objects. Task Manager, a constructor method that initializes the tasks list as an empty array list. Add task, string title, string description, local date due date a method that creates a new task object with the given title, description, and due date parameters, and adds it to the tasks list using the add method of the ArrayList class. Edit task, int index, string title, string description, local date due date a method that retrieves the task object at the specified index in the tasks list, and updates its title, description, and due date properties using the set title, set description, and set due date methods of the task class. Get asks, a method that returns the entire tasks list. View tasks, a method that displays all the tasks in the tasks list using a for loop to iterate over the list, printing the task number, task details, and an empty line for formatting. Delete task, int index a method that removes the task object at the specified index in the tasks list using the remove method of the array list class. Mark task as completed, int index a method that retrieves the task object at the specified index in the tasks list and sets its completed property to true using the set completed method of the task class. This is a Java program that defines a class called main. Within this class, there is a main method, which is the entry point of the program. An instance of the task manager class is created at the beginning of the main method. The scanner class is used to get user input from the console. A while loop is used to display a menu of options to the user and get their input until they choose to exit. When the user enters a choice, the program uses a switch statement to perform the corresponding operation. The different cases are Case 0, 
the user chooses to exit the program, and the program prints a message and returns from the main method. Case 1, the user chooses to add a task. The program prompts the user to enter the task title, description, and due date, in the format YYYYMMDD, and uses a try-catch block to handle any date-time parse exception that may occur when parsing the due date. The program then calls the addTask method of the task manager instance to add the task and prints a success message. Case 2, the user chooses to edit a task. The program prompts the user to enter the index of the task they want to edit, the new title, description, and due date, and uses a try-catch block to handle any date-time parse exception that may occur when parsing the new due date. The program then calls the edit-task method of the task manager instance to edit the task and prints a success message. Case 3, the user chooses to view all tasks. The program calls the view tasks method of the task manager instance to print a list of all tasks. Case 4, the user chooses to delete a task. The program prompts the user to enter the index of the task they want to delete and calls the delete task method of the task manager instance to delete the task and prints a success message. Case 5, the user chooses to mark a task as completed. The program prompts the user to enter the index of the task they want to mark as completed and calls the mark task as completed method of the task manager instance to mark the task as completed and prints a success message. Default, the user enters an invalid choice, and the program prints an error message.